What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and welcome to the Black Heights channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to become a network architect. That is right. How to become a network architect. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I've gotten asked the question, how to become a network architect by following an MIS path. So we're going to talk about all things related to a network architect. We're going to start off with what is a network architect. We're going to talk about what sort of personality you need to become a network architect. We're also going to talk about how much network architects make and what sort of education and experience is required for a network architect. Now guys, let's jump right into it. So what is a network architect? Well, a network architect is responsible for designing computer networks, including LANs, and WAN, so a LAN is a local area network. I'm sure you guys have heard about this in a IT class. And a WAN is a wide area network. This is the internet connection that feeds into your house and a local area network is the internet connection locally to you. And they also responsible for internet connections, intranets, and data communication systems. So if you were to think about this, a network architect is responsible for when Tesla builds its Gigafactory here in Austin, and the Gigafactory is gonna be responsible for making the Tesla pickup trucks. Well, as they are constructing, or as they are constructing this big, massive manufacturing facility, a network architect is responsible for making sure that it has all the needs, Tesla has all the needs because it needs the internet connection. And the internet connection is going to help with the computer systems, help with the systems in general, so that Tesla can create the trucks that they're going to be building. And the network architect is, is responsible for making sure all of these systems, all of the internet connections are coming into this facility, and it has the load to handle the number of people that are in the facility, as well as the equipment that's in the facility to go in and to go out of that facility. So that's what a network architect is. Somebody that's responsible for the entire internet connection for a business. And it is responsible for making sure that people that work for a network architect, typically a network engineers, have looked at every possible outcome and the future of this business to make sure it has enough capacity to fulfill the business needs. No, that was a long winded um, definition of it, but I think you guys understand what it is now. So guys, let's talk about the personal or personality types that you need in order for you to be a network architect. So successful network architects, basically are responsible for seeing the big picture regarding the current and future information technology uh, infrastructure needs for a business or an organization. So they produce um, documented uh, visions of the network infrastructure. They need to be really good communicators because they have to be able to sell their vision to business owners, to business creators, and that they have to be able to communicate to their people that work for them, typically a system administrator or a network engineer. So the personality type is somebody who has a vision, somebody who is a leader, somebody who uh, uh, has extensive experience in uh, system administration or becoming a network engineer. Now, I must say this, you will not become a network architect without taking a system administration route or a network engineering route because it takes years of experience in order for you to get there. And this leads me to what's next is the education and experience that's required for a network architect. At a bare minimum, a network architect does have a bachelor's degree, guys. 
And the area of study that most go into is something in IT, information technology, computer science, or management information systems. Management information systems is a route that a lot of network architects go or the major that they major in, as well as some of the other ones as well too. But uh, most of them have a bachelor's degree and they also have uh, a specialization in some sort of business administration because you need to understand the business itself, which is why management information systems is a really good major. So speaking of experience, in order for you to become a network architect, which is a high level management position, guys, again, let me say that again, a network architect is a high level management position. So you will not be able to come out of school to become a network architect. You have to climb the ladder in either a system administration role or either a network engineer role. Once you stay in those roles for a good five plus years, typically your trajectory to become a network architect is in sight. And really what happens is once you become a network architect, you are going to be getting recruited heavily by human resources, recruiters, and things like that, because it is a position that is really valuable, especially as manufacturing is coming back on, uh, on site or on shore here in the United States. And as far as the certifications, network architects do have a lot of certifications now, there are some of them that don't have uh, certifications, but the majority of them do, because if you go into a system administration or be trying to become a network engineer, you have to have some sort of certifications and the certifications that uh, a lot of them have are CompTIA A plus certification or security plus or a network plus uh, certification by CompTIA. A lot of them also have things like Cisco certifications, whether it's CCNA or whether it's the CCT. Um, or, or a dev ops or a cyber ops associated or dev net professional. So you can, uh, certifications will be a plus if you have those to, to become a network architect. And as I mentioned, guys, it is a high level management role and you will not be able to just jump into that role out of school as an MIS graduate. Now, last, we're going to talk about the potential salaries for a network architect, because this is where the rubber meets the road. We all want to make a good amount of money to retire, to have a good lifestyle and to really pay off our student loans, guys. According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual salary for a computer network architect in 2021 was $117,000 a year. That's right, $117,000 a year, which is a good salary. You're making over six figures. And the number of individuals working as a network architect is about 160,000 and a growth rate is about 5% a year, which is above average. So it is a growing market. It isn't as big as management information systems or information systems manager or something like that, where it's at 10% or 11%. Uh, but it is a growing field because as companies begin to bring manufacturing on shore, you need folks that can really paint a vision of what's needed for these big facilities and things like that to make sure that they have the adequate infrastructure in order for them to operate and operate at a successful level. Guys, I hope you have liked the video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these points that I have made. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to help us grow the channel. I want to thank you guys again for helping us get to this point. Also, if you haven't hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content, hit that notification bell. And don't forget again to like the video as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, have a good rest of your day. And until next time, peace.